Mr. President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Ranil Vikramasinghe, Special Advisor to the President on Climate Change, Mr. Eric Solheim, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to express a few words on this event of international cooperation for the protection of the environment. As you all know, Sri Lanka is one of the most vulnerable countries affected by climate change. On a global index, Sri Lanka is placed as one of the top 10 countries prone to adverse climate effects. The UNFCCC states, and I quote, as a small island and developing nation, Sri Lanka is highly vulnerable to the adverse effects of climate change. Consequences of climate change, such as temperature rise, rain Rainfall variability and sea level rise are critically affecting almost all economic sectors of the country. Occurrences of natural disasters due to extreme weather conditions such as prolonged drought, flash floods and landslides deprive lives and livelihood of people." Unquote. Sri Lanka loses hundreds of millions of dollars annually to extreme weather patterns. The World Bank predicts a 1.2% annual GDP loss for Sri Lanka by 2050 because of climate change. So it is imperative that in order to Sri Lanka to achieve the best socio-economic outcome, we must first become climate resilient. Sri Lanka is currently facing the worst economic crisis since its independence and is now on a road to recovery. And considering the current country's dependency on natural resources for economy and employment generation, for instance, in sectors like agriculture, fisheries, and tourism. Increased climate externalities have an unprecedented impact on the lives and livelihood of our people and our economy. Recognizing this and the need for collective action to combat climate change, President Vikramasinghe has already expressed a firm commitment to prioritize climate action and integrate climate change considerations into key sectors. We have submitted our new nationally determined contribution commitments with increased ambition on emission reduction and climate change adaptation. We have promised to reduce our greenhouse emissions from key sectors by 14.5% and increase, increase our forest cover by 32% by 2030. We have also committed to achieve 70% renewable energy and electricity generation by 2030, carbon neutrality by 2050, and cease building coal-fired power plants. Last November, President Vikramasinghe launched the Country Prosperity Plan at COP27 in Egypt. The Country Prosperity Plan is basically a green pathway to achieve socio-economic prosperity in Sri Lanka. The CPP's aim is to contribute to strengthen our economy by studying on optimizing economic resilience, studying our potential for renewable energy, marine conservation, and protection of biodiversity. Identifying green projects and providing financing and investment needed for the projects by attracting local and foreign investors and philanthropists. The CPP has already identified many projects ranging from re renewable energy to ecotourism, e-mobility, reforestation, and many more. The President has also initiated to establish the world's first international climate change university in Sri Lanka, with a faculty based in Maldives to study the effects of climate change on island nations and the Indian Ocean. As a senior advisor on climate change to the President, I've had the honor and pleasure to work closely with our special guest today, Mr. Eric Solheim. Mr. Solheim is no stranger to Sri Lanka and is currently working as an advisor to the President on climate activities. Mr. Solheim has had a long and distinguished career both in government and on the environment. He served as the Minister of Environment to the Norwegian government before taking on the role as an executive director of the UN Environmental Program between 2016 and 2018. Currently, he's not only serving as advisor to President Vikramasinghe, he's also playing an advisory role to the South Indian government and many other countries. I was fortunate to work with Mr. Solheim in organizing the Sri Lanka Clean Energy Summit 2023 that concluded yesterday. Mr. Solheim was in in arranging many foreign investors to participate in the summit. Thank you, sir, for sharing your knowledge, expertise, and advice with us to make Sri Lanka a greener, stronger, and vibrant country. And a special thank you to President Vikramasinghe for his leadership and guidance in moving Sri Lanka towards prosperity and a green economy. May the country prosper. Thank you.